What would you do for your loved ones who've passed away? Recently, I got to attend a mass cremation here in Bali, and today's video, I'm gonna share everything that happened during this very spectacular day. This is incredible. What's up guys, my name is Tim. I'm actually from New York, but I've been living here in Bali for about two and a half years now. I actually got stuck here all through the entire pandemic and I realized that this place is amazing and it's now our home. I live the typical expat life here, going to cafes, working as a digital nomad, things like that. But one of the things that I haven't really been doing is seeing a lot of the Balinese ceremonies and culture. And I honestly don't know why. I have so many local friends and I think that these things are quite fascinating. So when we got invited to come to a mass cremation in Northern Bali in the town of Singaraja, I really was excited at this chance. We woke up, drove up to Singaraja, and we had to start by putting on the traditional Balinese clothing. If you go to a Balinese ceremony, you're expected to also wear the same clothing as the local people. And they're really nice. They actually help you to get everything prepared and set up. After this, we went to the town and it was not a normal day. Everyone was gathering and preparing for this massive ceremony that was basically taking over everything. All the roads were stopped, everything was blocked in preparation for this ceremony. When we entered, I saw many, many people all different music being played, all different instruments, and of course the main families and the immediate families of the people who were lost. In the case of this ceremony, I believe there's around 20 or so people being cremated, and many of them were waiting more than five years for this opportunity. You can't have a cremation just any day, so this was a special time and a special day that had to line up for all of this to happen. On top of that, it's extremely financially difficult to do this. Actually, it seems like a cremation and burial here in Bali costs almost the same, if not more, than doing it in America, which is crazy considering the salaries and cost of living is dramatically different. So this is a really big deal and one reason why many people in a village will come together to cremate all their family members from different families at once just to make it affordable. Now, if you come from a wealthier family, you can do your own cremation, which we didn't see today, but I've seen driving around now that I know what to look for. And that's also something that follows the same kind of path, but you get to be in more control over exactly how it's done, when it's done, who is there, etc. I was amazed because unlike many places in the West, people in Indonesia really want to share their culture and traditions with you, especially people from Bali. And you're typically invited and welcomed in and they want you to see closely what's happening, explain it to you, take pictures, take videos. I didn't feel in any way, shape or form uncomfortable. In fact, it looked like my local friend was very happy to see me and the crew show up for this cremation ceremony in Singaraja. Now, we only stayed for, I believe, the main events of the cremation, but it can go on for numerous days, and there can be many different blessings and temples that you go to. But the first part we went, and there were several people dancing and performing while the immediate family looked on. After that, everyone was paraded out with what was, I realized later, the actual remains of their family member in their hand, as well as other offerings. And these offerings were huge. You see offerings in Bali all the time, of course. There's many different ceremonies and practices here that require offerings, and you see them everywhere. Everywhere you go, in the homes, on the street, on the bikes, everywhere you see these offerings. But this was like a massive version of that. <laughs> um, definitely, there was so much more to this, and this is part of the reason why this whole thing can get very expensive, as the contents of these offerings can be very, very, very expensive. The whole town seemed to gather and stop in order to see this amazing ceremony. We watched them put one by one, very delicately and gently, all the family members and the offerings into this large structure called a bade. And the bade, as my friends here have told me, is the last ride into a different dimension. So you're in this giant structure and the whole town is taking you down the street it's quite something. It's such a unique experience that I can't explain. So we got as many videos and photos as possible. All right, so Mari and her family are right here. 
and we are joining them today for a really cool cremation ceremony. This is so stimulating, so visually overwhelming. Definitely one of the coolest experiences I've had here in Bali so far. In the end, after about a 30 or 45 minute walk down the road, we ended up at another site that looks like this is a place where they use to do cremations. Okay, I think we've reached kind of a temple area here. I think this is it. I think this is where we've been processing to this entire time. They slowly loaded each family member's remains outside of the bidet and into these two giant white buffaloes. And this was quite dramatic and quite visually overwhelming for us. <laughs> We watched slowly later as the cremation occurred. They actually let the entire platform with the two white buffaloes on fire. And this was the main part of the ceremony. And there were still lots and lots of people there. There were people getting food. There were people mostly with a positive spirit. It wasn't the same kind of spirit at an American funeral. The overall vibe was a vibe of relief. There were some people who looked sad and there were some people who were crying, but the majority of people just looked like they were happy for their loved ones taking this important last step in their journey. I really can't relate or imagine what it must be like to take, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years to acquire closure of that kind. And I also can't think or even imagine, especially given all the hardship that these people have been under in the past few years, I can't imagine what it's like to have that financial responsibility on your loved ones as well. This is such a huge thing and a huge part of Indonesian culture. And I'm so glad that we got to experience it and were invited. I'm so grateful to all the families who were there and letting us be part of this special celebration and day. Have you actually been to one of these ceremonies? Definitely comment down below because I'm probably leaving out so much. I'm greatly oversimplifying a process that's really unique. I'd love to keep sharing more things about my experience here as an expat in Indonesia and show you more of this wonderful culture, more of how to live here, more of what the best tips and things are if you're considering living here or visiting here in Indonesia. Thank you again so much for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. We definitely need more subscribers so we can bring you more cool content like this. And we'll catch you again in the next video.